This is the H-64E, the E model, the new attack helicopter. It's the future of combat aviation and key to how the Army will operate in the deep under future soldier. We've ordered 50 of the new E model Apaches. We currently have 10 in my regiment that we're engineering and we're flight testing. And we'll have the first squadron operating collective training in the summer. We've been operating the old Apache Mark I since 2002 globally in the high north in the Arctic and in the deserts and it proved itself as a battle-willing capability in Afghanistan and in Libya. So the E-Model Apache will change the way the Army fights in exploiting its ability to integrate across the battle space. It's key to future soldier and the British Army's warfighting capability. So my job as an avionics supervisor is to work on the, um, the platform behind me with a team of engineers and our job is to make sure the aircraft is electrically operating in the way it should be. Um, as an avionics sort of platform, what we tend to work on mostly is uh, radar systems, navigation systems, communication systems, wrapping and sighting systems. So to get ourselves in preparation for E-Model, what we've done is we've gone out to the United States of America, went to a state called Virginia at Fort Eustis, and there we conducted about a four-week training package to then allow ourselves to become suitably qualified, to then come back to the United Kingdom, to then come and eventually um, work on E-Models to then deliver that as an, like, an actual operational output for the Army. So working on Apache is a very motivating platform to be on. It allows you as an engineer to be able to work um, within the constraints of having a really knowledgeable team, you're working with highly educated sort of people in the sort of environment, um, and allows us to go outside the door and then do what we do best. You know, with engineers, we want to be able to make sure that we put aircraft into the sky. Um, and for us, that's the biggest thing that we'd like to go and achieve and do. So I'm a pilot initially, so I fly for the squadron as one of the aircrew, as well as I oversee all the training, and I'm one of the squadron supervisors. Uh, I would train and assess our squadron's aircrew. I'm very excited about flying the, uh, the Echo model Apache. Uh, this is going to allow us to do our job miles better. Uh, it's more lethal, agile, faster, more powerful. It's going to allow us to um, support ground forces as well as other um, air users uh, much better. So we've got uh, better communication systems, we've got better uh, sensors on the aircraft, the fire control radar has been enhanced. Uh, we've got Osmo radios, we've got Link 16, uh, which allows us to share data a lot quicker um, and a lot better with high fidelity to other platforms, ground users such as the ground forces, manned on man teaming with UAVs, other Apaches, other NATO forces, to allow us to do our job a lot more efficiently, uh, a lot better, a lot quicker. So I'm a communications specialist within the Army Air Corps. Uh, I provide vital comms to the aircraft and I also assist the pilots in their mission planning cycles. When we're in mission planning, we are programmed the aircraft with all the information it needs and the pilot needs to complete their missions effectively. The new mission planning software that we've received for the new E-Model is far superior to the old, old mission planning systems. It gives us a lot more accuracy on the missions and it provides the aircraft with a lot more information. It's very exciting to be at the forefront of the E-Model transition purely for the fact that we will set the trend and the standard for the other squadrons to then go through when they make the transition to E-Model.